Hello and welcome aboard to a, uh, another video of TSW3 with your host Aldre. Uh, this time I'm going to be doing a, um, a mod for exhaust, strictly exhaust. And I'm um, doing it in the training center. Uh, this actually seems to work pretty good here most of the time. And uh, just makes it easier that I don't have to worry about. It's a, I keep this as a save. So I can always come back here. So let's get over here. Uh, right now I'm using a fly cam, the uh, big cam, the camera where you could fly around and go fast like Superman. Woo wee, look at that. Okay, uh, shiny thing, sorry, ADD moment. Uh, I promise you, I do, I, I get, distracted very easily with some of the craziest weirdest things uh, anyway my uh, little cartoon is um, in in the uh, SD 40 dash 2 over there so let me uh, let me pull up the mod manager that I'm using well, the uh, one and only that I know of unless there's another one out there that I don't know of but anyway I'm gonna pull up the mod manager okay this is the uh, Train Sim World Mod Manager. And uh, these are all the mods I have uh, activated right now with the, as you see, the little blue sliders that are blue and to the right it means that the mod is installed and active. I can't, if you notice, oh, well, let me do it. Ah, how about that? Okay, I tried that once before and it didn't work. Okay, so. This is gonna be interesting. I initially started using this one here when I started looking for mods and a diesel exhaust, exhaust for diesel locomotives. And the one I have highlighted right now does this for all diesel locomotives in Train Sim World. It works, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it works in Train TSW2 also. I'd have to check. But anyway, TSW3 this is what we're doing here. Stay on task. So I have, I'm surprised that this, the last time I tried this, it would not let me activate a mod because the game is running. But you're not supposed to activate or install mods when your game is running. Uh, I can't explain why this happened. But um, I downloaded the, the same mod author. Um, see, will it take me to, uh, no, no, it won't take me. Uh, maybe, hold on. Uh, browse mods, uh, let me see. This is for train enhancements. Hmm. This one, uh, this is his newest uh, mod, Rob S. And you don't need all four of these, okay? You got, I don't want to click these because it'll start downloading. Okay, you got one, two, okay, or you can take one, two. You don't have to have all four of these installed. Right now I have, and I'm, I did this deliberately, just deliberately installed. I have the first one, which is this one here, and the one, the other four that I just showed you from the other mod, I have this one here and this one, this is for the class 31. It's actually 31 slash one, something like that. The really old train locomotive. And this is for all diesel locomotives. This one is specifically for the class 31. I'm not sure what the 20 is. I haven't looked. Cause I am so far behind in so many, and there's just so much going on. I'm trying to, and I got my daughter helping me out too. Um, you only need two of these, and I deliberately activated this one and this one. And I activated this one and this one. Okay? There is a difference, and I will show the difference between all of them. But right now, I have all... Technically, I have, as you can see, one, two, three, four five exhaust mods installed. We only need either the diesel exhausts or these two here or these two here. Not all. But I did this for a reason, to show something. I'm using a uh, rail driver. So right now, as you can tell, 
the uh, locomotives are idling. And hopefully it's, uh, the game is ducking from the mic as I yammer away. So this is with all the exhaust mods I just showed you. One. Can I see, can you see here? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Okay, um. I'm surprised that the game hasn't crashed. I would have expected it to crash with that many mods doing the same thing in one game. And if you can see my FPS, it's starting to drop. I don't get good FPS. I don't know why. I'm running a 3070 uh, NVIDIA. Anyway, so, I'm at Notch 8, as you can see. Nacho 8. You bring it back down. That almost looks, that's about what vanilla you know, the way it ships from the factory. But it looks actually better than the vanilla. Because the vanilla one really just doesn't look right. The, uh, the factory installed exhaust does not look right. It's off on the color and just, I don't know. Surprisingly, with all these mods installed, now, granted, I'm not using the class 31 slash 1 dot 1 uh, so that that actually those two mods are not actually affecting the game but I'll do it one more time So uh, technically I have three mods for the, that, not including the, uh, the class 31, dot one slash one. I just might run all these mods for a while just to see how things work out and what they look like, you know, with other locomotives as well. Okay, so that's all these mods activated, which you really don't need. I I stress this because the mod author uh, has made that statement. You don't need all of these activated at one time. If you choose to do it, that's on, that's you know that's your choice. But this is much better, and I really do like. I, I, I hated the, the 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 way the exhaust was from vanilla. It just it really it really impacted my FPS. Now this does too. The game does not handle this type of graphic very well. That's bringing my FPS down to 15. And I just bumped up my uh, graphics card uh, memory and GPA, give it a little bit of an overclock, not much. I don't want to push it too hard. But if I come down over here, see my, ex my FPS comes back up. 
So, anyway, now let me deactivate all all of them except for one. And let's see what happens. If I do, I have to exit the game or not? I don't know. But let's give it a shot. Okay, I'm back at the mod manager. So I'm going to try this and see what happens. Really don't need this. See, it won't let me. It won't let me do anything. That one it deactivated. Huh. That is odd. Maybe because it wasn't active when the game started. So this one probably not even affecting anything. But let me, I'm gonna have to shut the game down because as you can see, I can click this all I want or you could click here and deactivate and nothing happens. So the game, this will not, this is, but it's also good practice. You shouldn't be doing what I just did here. Even if you can, you should not do it. So let me exit out the game, bring back the mod manager and show you what I'm deactivating. Bring the game back and just do the whole uh, thing all over again. Hopefully I can make this as short and sweet and to the point as I can. Um, be back in a few. Okay. Um, Back at the mod manager here, so I'm going to deactivate all these. And I'm just going to leave this one activated. So I'm going to, because this is the first one that I started with. So, now, as you can see, they're down here. They're not active. They're grayed out. I'm going to leave these checked because I'm going to come back again and activate two more and deactivate and so forth and so on. So let me get the game back up and running. Okay, we're back. I'm back. Uh, let me get back to the locomotives. And, whoa. Ended up on the belly like a snake. Okay, let me turn off the HUD. Okay, as you can see, I have this one exhaust mod activated. And these other ones that are highlighted in blue, I have them off. Do it this way. This way I can show highlighting while I highlight things. Hmm. You can see that they're grayed out and they're uninstalled. The only one in active is this one here. Okay, so we'll go back to the game. And again, uh, let's get this to Nacho 2 is good enough. Okay, we'll get it to Nacho 2. That's Notch 2. a little bit as you could tell it's considerably less as I move up to Nacho 8 in a way I like this one quite a bit because it doesn't impact my FPS as much. That's one of the reasons why I like it. But, you know, it could, you know, that's why I, when I noticed that he did these other uh, exhaust mods, I jumped on them to see what they were like. And it's hard to choose, especially, and I don't know why I'm having such a, an FPS issue, because, um, the game runs fine. For the most part, many times I'm running up into the 60s of my FPS. But even from here, you could tell that the 
the exhaust is considerably less. So, you know, if you want your game with, with the diesel locomotives that have a considerably reduced exhaust, this would be a good exhaust mod for you. Uh, and this is why I'm doing this exhaust mod showcase. So we bring it back down to idle. Back to Nacho 8. And the exhaust does have physics. So, what I mean by that, I'll put this in forward. We've gone to forward, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, wait a minute. I need to go on camera. I can stay with the vehicle. Train. Okay, so oh, do I do I not have this set up? Oh no, I don't. Uh, let's see. Let me do it. No? Yes, maybe? No. There we go. We're moving now. Probably should have put the train up on the on the big on a big circle track. But um You can see this the faster you go the more the smoke gets pushed backwards, like it should be. And I don't want to... I'm going to put the brakes on so I don't end up running off the end of the track. So let's uh, put it in uh, revoice. Nacho 1. brakes off. I'm just doing it with the independent brakes. Okay, so we're moving kind of slow here, so let's throttle it up. idle I put on all the brakes that time I didn't want to go flying into the building now let's uh, put it back where it should be that's that exhaust mod now I'm gonna exit the game I'm gonna have to redo. Maybe I should save so all these settings are are set. Oh, wrong button. Uh, full service and there. Neutral. Nacho zero. Yep, nacho zero. Okay. Let me go back up to my little perch over here. Oh, 
will help if I do this. Get up to my little perch here. Because this way I know where I start off each time. And if I uh, do any kind of sound mods, this way I'm uh, not near, not by or near or in a locomotive where I can hear the changes immediately. So, be back with the mod manager. Okay, here we are back at the mod manager. And uh, this time I'm going to disable this one and come down here and I'll enable... Oh no, that one, yeah. I'll enable those two. Okay, because those two are for, this one here is the exhaust overhaul, and that's for all diesel locomotives within the game. And this one is, like I said, for the class. Well, I, if, if, I, if I can keep the video short enough, I'll show what the, uh, Class 31-1 locomotive looks like with the two different exhaust overhauls. Okay, so those two are activated and the other two down here will be next. But right now they're off. As you can see, they're grayed out. So I'm going to leave those as is, as is for now. And uh, let me fire up the game again. Okay, back in the game. Let me turn off the HUD. The old same place, training center. Let me get back over here by uh, the locomotives. Where my little cartoon guy is sitting. Okay. Let me, uh, once again, let me quickly show the mods that have been activated. Okay. They're still active. Highlighted blue. The other ones are down here not active as well as this one here so if you're going to use the the new mod that he put out rob s the mod author you could use these two or these two okay you don't need all four just the two because this is for all again and i you know and i'm <clears throat> repeating myself too much so let's get back to the game okay so we're at neutral and nacho zero nacho one Not completely full throttle. We oh, yeah. Nacho 5. But you notice how this one starts to impact my FPS. I don't know what it is about exhaust in this game, but it, in, it really does impact FPS. And it doesn't matter whether it's a mod or if you don't use any mods. It just, for whatever reason, this game does not handle exhaust uh, well at all. So now we'll show, I'll show the Wii. Yeah, like the mouse in my pocket. Wii. And put this in neutral. Nacho zero, rather. Put this in forward gear. Get the brakes to equalize and... There we go. Give it, uh, give it a little bit of gas. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, excuse me? Um, 
Okay. Uh, what happened there? Yeah, let's try that again. Really? Uh, I'm in the building that I can't get out of? You're kidding me. Okay. Well, you know, I guess I'm going to have to move the train up. I don't know why that's happening. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. That's a thing. Okay. Ooh. Hardly got even... Hardly got moving in it was already showing the physics of the exhaust. Get some gas going in. Take the brakes off. Do it pedal to the metal. Okay. Put it back to idle, but it's still, you still see the physics of the exhaust. Okay, I'm going to have to do emergency braking here. I don't want to end up driving off the track. Hey, now we'll put it in. Yeah, I still have plenty of room to go. How about that? Oh, so put it in reverse. Give it a little bit of gas. Take the brakes off. Hopefully I didn't trip the PCS. Okay, did, uh... Oh, you know why? Because I had the uh, throttle going before I put it into revoice. Nacho too. No. Pedal to the metal. That's idle, as you can hear, and see that the, the exhaust has proper physics, and it's a little bit more than the first one, and I think, in my opinion, this looks more to the real world, because there's a train that goes through of three and a half blocks, especially during during commuters uh, hours when people are going to and from work. And it sometimes it sounds like the train is right right behind the house. And there's a train station less than a mile away from where I live. Having to wait for the train at the train crossing and everything. I've never seen and they are diesel locomotives. They don't uh, they don't spew out, you know giant plumes of exhaust that are like 20, 30, 40 feet tall. You hardly see any exhaust coming out of them. Now, I could see an older train, maybe, that hasn't had any real maintenance, or maybe using bad fuel or dirty fuel. I, I don't know a lot about diesel, locom diesel engines in as a whole, other than that they are much more fuel efficient than gasoline. This, to me, is more to the real world type of exhaust that you would get out of an, uh, a diesel engine. I mean, yeah, when you first, if you're going to, you know, smash the pedal to the floor and, you know, rev it up real hard, yeah, 
you're going to get a big plume of smoke, whether it's a diesel truck, a car, or locomotive. It's the nature of petrol engines, and that, that includes gas, regular gasoline and diesel. But anyway, I digress. So, do it one more time. Pedal to the metal. Nacho 8. And that is what makes this, you know, makes mod so much better to use. What makes the game, it doesn't matter what game, because almost every game today can be modded. And and it's stuff like this is what makes things, makes the experience so much better. Okay. So if I don't go through the building this time, Okay. Well, we'll put this into... Well, that's where I have it set with the last save I did, so... Here we go. Okay. I'll be back again with the mod manager and activate, deactivate the, uh, the mods and show the third one, third option. Okay, here we are with the mod manager again. Now I'm going to deactivate these two. Uh, let me uncheck them. And I'll check these two. Okay. The smoke update. And the class 31 um, smoke update. So we're going to activate those two. Here we are, highlighted in blue, so checked. The other two, or the three, I should say, are deactivated. So now we get to uh, get to the game again and show you this option of the exhaust. Okay, back in the game. Same place, the uh, training center. Why does it look like it's getting cloudy or smoggy? Fog rolling in. Okay. Now, this is the other version of the exhaust mod. Okay, we're at Nacho Zero. Let's get the uh, brakes uh, equalized and pressurized and all ready to go. Okay, so neutral brakes. Yep, independent brake is on. Okay, we're Nacho one. And go up to Nacho eight. Not again. Okay. That is just so disconcerting. Okay. Forward. Yeah. Okay. I wish I can ha have an answer for that, but I don't. Okay, we're at Nacho 1. 
and you can already see the physics of the exhaust. Give it to Nacho 8. Okay, bring it down to idle. from this angle, we'll put it in reverse. I already have all the brakes off, so. And the physics are at work. Nacho 8. And there you go. That's your third option for exhaust on your diesel locomotives. And again, I know I've said it before, but this is for all diesel locomotives in the game for TSW3. I will try it with TSW2 uh, just to see what happens. But I'm not going to make another video because it's, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But this is a uh, Perda Mod Manager for TSW3. And this is the, the third option you could choose from. And uh, what I'll do is, you know what? I think I'll fire up the, uh, the game in, with that other locomotive just to show what it looks like with this third option. Um, you, know, you can get the idea of what it would look like with the second option. So I'll be back with that locomotive. Okay, this is the uh, train I was talking about that that one mod is, exhaust mod is for. I already did the uh, train uh, the train introduction, but it is the uh, class 31 slash one blue BLU on the Tees Valley line. And uh, that's what that one mod is specifically for this, is specifically for this train, this locomotive. So, let me get in there. Okay, let's, um, ooh, wow, that takes off pretty quick. Okay, let me get on the other side here. Much older locomotive. Hopefully I don't derail. See, I uh, didn't expect that to be there, and again, I should have looked. But anyway, we're not here for this. We're here for train brakes running. Okay. Let me put this, there we go. 
go. Full throttle. Now let me uh, bring up the uh, mod manager. Okay, this is the mod, this exhaust mod for the locomotive that I'm in right now. Here. So let's put this into forward. Yeah. There already was a collision. I slammed into the bump stop. Reduce the power to zero and allow the locomotive to coast towards the wagons. No. And there's your physics at work. Wow, this thing picks up speed pretty fast. If you stop short, release the brake and apply power again. Independent brake line, brake line. But there you go. That's the exhaust for this train. The, the class thirty one forward slash one blue. An older locom uh, locomotive, but it's Sure still has a lot of spunk. Okay. And that will bring this video to a close. To all who stuck around and watched. And uh, by all means, uh, leave your comments. Good, bad, and different. Constructive criticism is welcome. If you found this helpful, informative, maybe even gave you a little bit of a chuckle, smash that thumbs up, likes button, and uh, subscribe and share. And uh, as for the mod authors, you know, uh, if you're looking for mods and you're looking for whatever, you know, this is, you know, one that I, w I would highly recommend because it does change what the what you get shipped from the factory. And it just doesn't look right. It doesn't look good. This one, you have three options. I think they do a good job, The these particular exhaust mod, uh, mods. I like the first and second one, you know, but you could pick and choose, you know, you could have all of them ready to go and install and uninstall as you wish. Uh, if you're using the, the mod uh, train sim world mod, 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 mod manager, and uh, you know you could pick and choose. You know, if you're making videos or just the way you feel that particular day. But either way, this mod author has given you three options to choose from. They're all good, and neither one of them really impact my game that much. Exhaust impacts the game no matter what. And even it's even worse on the on on, on 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 my Xbox One X. At least on a PC it's a little bit better. But it's still for whatever reason the game doesn't like exhaust. And as you can see here, just maybe because I'm in the shade, but now I'm at FPS fifty. I hit sixty. So it all depends on where I am and what I'm doing. But the game is running smooth for me. I'm not gonna complain. Not the greatest PC in the world, but it works. So thanks for being here. I appreciate it. I hope to have you back again. And, uh, you know, give the mod author some love if you're going to use his mod. I'm a Kofi. And, uh, you know, again, please read everything that the mod author has written on his mod page. The links to the two exhaust mods will be down below in the description. Just follow there, and it'll take you right there. And, uh... Read the, read the instructions, read the description, and, you know, if you got a question, I'll try to answer it for you if you post it here, but you're better off posting it directly to the mod author. Who knows the mod better than the mod author? They can answer the question better than me or anyone else because um, they created it. Again, thank you. Appreciate it. Hope to have you back. Hopefully this is not too long, and uh, I'll come back now, you hear? Bye-bye for now.